before we start, just have a quick look at a quadratic graph. Okay. So, uh, oops. What shape is a quadratic? A U shape. So when do you know if it's a U shape yeah. and when do you know when it's a hill shape? What's the difference? When do you know which one it is? The roots. Not the roots. The vertex. True. But, uh, Packard, maybe you have it. What is it? It's uh, the A is different. The A is different. How is it different? One is 12, one is Thank you. So which is which, Amanda? Uh, U is A plus A. Yes. And the hill? The U is uh, Negative A. minus A. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. Right. Yes, um, let's, can you read to me, um, Oh no, this is it now. This really is it this time. This, this is it. That. <laughs> because when I put this in, what should happen is it should light here, but no light. It's gone. I have to buy a new one. Don't like spending money. Okay, and um, so let's do a quick look at a quadratic here. Okay, that's what you remember, yeah. Now let's have a look here at a cubic. Okay, does anybody know this one? Has anyone seen this one before? Cubic? Yeah? So what shape is it, Yami? How would you describe it? It goes like up, down and up, doesn't it? Like this maybe, yeah? Uh, let, me, let me do another one for you. There now. So that's what a cubic looks like. And just like with the quadratic, if I have a negative x cubed, see how it's upside down? So you see the red one is a positive x cubed, it goes up, down, up, and the blue one is negative x cubed, it goes down, up, down. So the first thing I'd like you to do is make note of that. If it's positive x cubed, uh, it goes up, down, up. And if it's negative x cubed, it goes down, up, down. Okay, Jay, where's that down? Okay, so did you write that sentence down? So positive x cubed, Amanda, which way does it go? If it's positive, what's the direction? Is it up, up, down, up? Look. See? Up, down, up. And then Clara, if it's negative x cubed? Down, Yeah. Down, up, down, in blue. No, I don't need you to write anything here. I just want you to make note of that sentence. So, positive x cubed is um, up, down, up. Um. And negative x cubed is down, up, down. And then the normal chief code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. 
you have the normally cheap code? The normally cheap code? You know the one I'm talking about, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, isn't it? It is. Oh, which? Ah, it's the... So the positive up, uh, down, up. I thought you were a gamer. Yeah. Yeah, any gamer knows this. That's... That's the cheapest for... No, most normally games. Yeah. Possibly. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, up, up. Down, down. Left, right. Left, right. A, B. You don't? Ah, no. Oh, I I shouldn't know more about this than you. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's have a look at our first example of drawing a cubic. So, uh, Amanda. Can you read out the first cubic, please? Or the first one, what is it? X cubed, is it? The first question in your book. Uh, 9x cubed. Yep. Plus 10x squared. Yep. Plus 43x plus 24. Thank you. Okay, so firstly, I want to find where it crosses the y axis. So, how do I find that? Uh, yes, and how did you find that, Amanda? Yeah, so write that down first. We're doing this one together. So first, uh, we let x equal 0. Let x equal 0. And then here you get, if I put x is 0, as you said, Amanda, you get y is 24. So that's the first point. You got that? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, what did you say, Carl? Maybe you have the next one. Yeah, Y equals zero. Yeah, very good. So next what you do, so you can write this down, is let Y equals zero. So we get Y equals zero. Uh oh, no, don't crash. Whew. Okay. And uh, Y equals zero. Now, this is uh, more interesting because we haven't seen this type of problem before. Have we? This is new. Find x. Now you can do it for what type of problems? You can do it for linear, yeah? And what else? Factorize, yeah, what do you do factorizing for? Quadratics. Yeah? So we would like to factorize this. That's what we want to do. We want to find the factors. How many ways do we have to do it? In fact, for a cubic, we have only one way. One factorizing. Only factorizing. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do we find the factors here for the cubics? Well, this is what you need to do. Wait, yep. uh, so there's not a lot of in the cube. That Good. No. <laughs> there is, but it's too advanced for you. Uh, so yes, KJ had a good question. Yeah, is there not some method like completing the cube, like completing the square? Sadly, too difficult for you. And you might say, oh, well, maybe there's a formula, like a cubic formula, like a quadratic formula. Yeah. Sadly, too difficult for you. The only thing we need to do in this course is factorize them. So we need to find the factors, and this is how you find the factors. What you do, and I'm very serious, is you need to guess one answer first. So you need to try and guess a number of x that makes this equal to zero. Equal to zero. This in blue. Okay, now listen. There's a couple of strategies here to get this, right? Firstly, I know that x can't be zero, because if I put x is zero, what do I get here? 24. So that's out of the question. X could be positive or negative. But if you have to make a guess to start, would you say positive or negative? Positive. Why? Uh, because... That's how you felt today, was it? <laughs> like a good reason, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah? Now, if your answer is a 50-50 guess, that's perfectly fine. 
Yeah. Good, fine. <laughs> so he said get Palestine. Now I do think Palestine is the one we should try first because if you look here, how many Palestine pieces are there? There's a 9, a 10, and a 24. Yeah. And you have one big negative piece, minus 43. Do you see that there? Yeah. So it makes me think that X should be um, a small Palestine number because if you want it to equal 0, that 43 X is going to take a lot away. I don't think it will be 1, because I think 1 is too small. Is it 1? Does 1 work? Oh great, okay, so 1 isn't too small. So if you try x is 1, what do you get? 9 plus 10, oh perfect, 9 plus 10 right. minus 43 plus 24, that does equal 0. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, you might say, is this really how I need to do it in the exam? And the answer is yes. yes. But, in the exam, Listen, in the exam, the answer will always be between minus 3 and plus 3. Minus 3 Yeah, so this is where you need to guess. Okay? So let's try x as 1. So I put in x as 1. Whoops. Sorry, let's try that again. I put in x as 1. And look, I get 0. So, uh, KJ, what is this called if I say x equals 1 and it, it's a solution? What's that called? Mm -hmm. It's a root. So, Tekken, if x plus equals 1 is the root, then what is the factor? X minus Very good. x minus 1 is a factor. Now, if you think back to our last class, last week, you learned how to factorize cubic if I give you one of the factors already. If I give you one of the factors already, how do you factorize the cubic? Long division. So Tekken, what do you need to divide now? This cubic, yeah? Divided by... Divided by what? Yeah. Do you remember doing this in the long division exercise? I'm showing you here. If you look at page 20 in question 1, 2, 3, 4, you learned how to factorize cubic. But I have to give you one of the factors already. Then you can factorize the cubic. So what I want everybody to do for me now is to do the long division and get the other factors. Tell me what answer you get. What you said? Now for uh, step number six, that's enough, right? Huh? Step six? Yes. Is the first factor, and then we need to find the other factors. Uh -huh. So we find the other factors by long division. Yeah. That's what I want you to do now for me. Tell me what you get. Let's see who can do their long division the quickest. 9x squared plus 19 minus 24. Now do you know if that's right? Yes. You said that too confidently. You need to hedge a little bit. Pause a little bit and say, I believe so. Is it right, KJ? Yes. Good. Alright, so read it out. What did you get? Let's see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. What did you get? 9x yep. plus 19x yep. minus 24. Correct. Good job. Now, we need to factorize this next. I'm not even sure if it has factors. Wait, wait. What's the discriminant here? It is b squared minus 4ac. That is positive, so it does have roots. Do you remember how to factorize this? The two brackets? Yeah. yeah. So let's see who can factorize the quickest. 
Without using the calculator, uh, you cheer. <laughs> We got factors yet? X minus 3? I don't see the factor. Should have two factors. Uh, oh, you used your calculator. <laughs> You're as bad as KJ, you cheater. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want factors. Amanda, any luck? Finding the two factors? All right, let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's see. Right. I'll put you out of your misery now. There's no factors. <laughs> There's no factors. You'll have to use the formula. Yeah. I'm 100% sure. There's no factors. Now, there is a solution. You have to use the formula. So, Tekken, you have the two solutions from the formula. What are they? Minus 3 and... Minus 3 and 0. All right, let's see if you're right. There you go. Right, so that seems like it does have factors. It does. Hold on. It does. Sorry, I lied. It does have factors. <laughs> uh, so the factors are them two factors, x plus three and minus x minus six. Yes. So they have no factors. What should they do? You can use the quadratic formula. Yeah. Right, so we have found the three factors here for the cubic. What was the first factor? No, 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 the one first one we have to guess. What was it? X minus one. And the second factor? X plus three. And then the third factor? Nine X minus eight. Now that the cubic has been factorized, it's easy to see the roots. What is the first root? What's the first root? You remember you want to make this equal to zero. What's the first root? Come on. One. One. The second root? Minus three. And the final root? Eight over nine. So what I want you to draw in your book is the tree root. And don't forget, we also have the y-intercept. I think, what did you say, Amanda? It was a 24, wasn't it? The y intercept? Yeah. Yeah. So can you draw those tree roots and the y intercept? Huh? <laughs> what I want you to do is draw those tree roots. One minus three and eight over nine. Mark them on the x axis. Okay. Oh, you don't have to be that neat, but thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And you've got the one on the y-axis mark. Good. So what shape is this, um, Sophie? Mm -hmm. it's, it's positive. What shape will it be? Up, down. Up, down, up. So can you draw up, down, up going through all of those points? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, oh wait, I can't see. Oh yes, I'm sorry, continue. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. So that's your cubic. Alright. So we have to look at the computer screen. No, actually you can do the same thing, Jay. You have a tree, four points here, and it goes up, down, up. So try and draw the to the four points going up, down, up. Why? Because it is uh, nine x cubed. Uh -huh. So it's perfect now. First it up, goes up through this one. And then don't forget to have your 24 up here as well. So it goes up, yep. Up, down, up. Very good. Okay. Happen? Have we drawn it? Oh, beautiful. Right, let's have a look at it. Now, I think everybody noticed in the graph, it goes down a very little bit here. But it does actually go down here. If I zoom in, uh -oh. 
Uh, you can't see it, but it does go down, but only slightly. Eight over nine. Oh. Oh. So look, there's the, look, there's the first root minus three. Then which root is this one here? Uh, one. One. And then the one. Oh, sorry. No, that one's one. And then on the left is the eight over nine, sorry. which is a little less than one. Uh, roughly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roughly. And then uh, on the y-axis, where did you cross the y-axis? 24. And look, there it is there, 24. You see? Which do you need to see? All of them. Um, I can't really zoom out here. What do you need? This is all I typed. Yeah, I know. But for this, I want to know it. Oh, the graph? Yes. Oh, there you go. Now just be careful when you draw it, it needs to go under a little bit here. Under. Just a little bit under. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll do another one. So, by the way, how many roots does this cubic have? Three, three. It has three. Now let's do one that has two roots. Which is the next one. So can everybody try and do B uh, by yourself first, and then I'll do it up on the screen. So this is up, down, up? Correct. Yes, was it? Correct. Okay. Oh. Can, uh, Clara, can I delete this? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, maybe Clara, you can just read the next one. What is it, 81? Oh, Clara! No, no, give it back to her. I thought you had it. Tacken, you read it to me. Oh, 81 and 2. Yep. Yeah. And first 19 and here. Yep. Yeah. And first 19 and Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody, um, what's the first thing you do here? Amanda? Uh, left and X equals zero. X equals zero, good, okay. So we shall let X equals zero, and what do you get? Y equals one. Okay, now the tricky part. Let's guess. Now wait, can we look up? Let's do the guess and scatter. So, uh, Amanda, no, Sophie this time. Do you think we should use a positive or negative X value? Yeah, why negative? Yeah, because they're all positive, the only way you can make it zero is if some of them are negative. So we must use a negative X. Do you think uh, it should be a big number like two or three, or a small number like one? Yeah, one. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think it should be one because you have 81 and then 99. And if you use two or three, then these will get very big. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's try minus one. So take out your calculator and put in minus one. Yes, sir. Now let's pretend we don't know it's correct. So let's put in minus one. Hey, we get zero. So if x equals minus one is the um, root, then what is the factor? Quire, if x equals minus one is the root, what's the factor? X minus one. X, X, plus X plus 1. Good, good, good. Now, how do you find the other factors, Karar? What do you do? So this is only one factor and we need two more for the cubic. Uh, the factor. Yeah. If you know, that's okay if you don't. Yanni, do you know? How do you find the other factors? Yeah. What is it? Uh, divided. Divided. Divided, yeah. So, all right, Yanni, you tell me, which do I divide by which? Divide by I mean, one, the cubic, yeah? Cubic. Divide that by what? X plus one. Good. So what you need to do is you need to do this long division. Okay, everybody do that now, the long division.
Thank you, Rock, for fun, huh? <laughs> Don't pretend you're not enjoying yourself. Have you divided this already? Yeah. And is it right? Yeah. All right. So, did you divide this? Yeah. What did you get? Mm, and what did you get, Kate? Yes. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Simplify. Come on. Simplify. Is that what you got? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we need to factorize. Does this have factors? Yeah. It does? Yep. Yeah. Well, how do we check? He actually told me at 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, yeah. I told you. He forgot already. No, I don't forget. All right. But I can just look at it and I'm not as good as a Just look at it. You can, uh, I'd like you to like do the steps. I mean, if you want, you can just say, oh, long division to get this answer. And then you can do the long division later if you want. Mm -hmm. Or if you're comfortable with long division and you know how to do it, then you don't need to write it down. Yeah. yeah do you know how to do your long division? Yeah. Yeah, but then just write long division. So you know the steps. Yeah, I know. So what's the next step, Karar? Uh, next step is to make uh, the factors. Yeah, that's it. Now, how do we check if it has factors? The density. The density, yeah. So we have 18 squared minus 4ac. Is it? Oh, I typed it in wrong. I typed in 18. I should have typed in 81. Ah, no. This is zero. So, how many roots does it have? One. It only has one root. So, in other words, the two roots are the same. Um, 9x plus 1, I think. Is that what you got for the factors? Yes. Yeah? Is that what you got? 9x plus 1? Yeah? So the three roots are, what was the first one? Uh, F plus one, wasn't it? Okay. So now I found my three factors. Now I can find my three roots. But you realize there's only really two. What's the first root? Uh, one, oh, oh, minus one. Minus one. Uh, it's the second root, yeah. The first root is minus 1, and the second root is minus 1 over 9. Now, I want everybody to draw that graph. You have the two roots, the y-intercept, and is it up, down, up, or down, up, down? Which is it? Up, down, up, or down, up, down? Up. Up, down, up. Because it's positive. Because it's positive. Okay, so draw this please. I want to see what you make. Not quite. You have three roots here, one, two, three. So this lowest point here was hit the x-axis, but not the one there is. Very good. Whoa. 
Okay, please notice. Here is the first root, and here is the second root. There is only one root here. It doesn't cross it twice. I'm going to zoom in. So put on your 3D goggles. I'm going to zoom in, okay? Wow, it's just like Avatar. Um, zooming in more. See, it's only crossing at once. No, it's not that impressive, is it? There's only one point here, there's not two. It doesn't go under. Okay? Uh, we'll do one more example and then I hope you're happy with drawing the cubics. Or not happy. Happy enough? Yeah. Um, okay, so one more example. Can I delete these boxes here on the right, Jeff? Uh, so I want to pick one that has now uh, one less root. Yeah, so see. 16x cubed plus 56x squared plus 49x. 16x cubed, what did I say, plus 56x squared plus 16x, is that it? 49x, is that it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, 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 we'll do this one together, like a family, okay? <laughs> right, so, uh, Kevin, what's the first step? Yeah, let x equals 0, and what do you get for that? In this example here, you get y equals 0. Okay, then the next step, uh, Sophie, what's the next step? Let the y equals 0. So here you let y equals 0. Good. And then what's next after this? Uh, I'm going remember. What's the next step? Uh, that's the x equals 0. Yeah, why? What, what are you doing in this step? You need to get an answer. Yeah? So if you look here, you can actually get the answer straight away. What do you need for x? Zero. It needs to be 0 because if it's 0, what do you get? Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so um, x equals 0. This is our first guess. My first guess. Okay. Uh, Kamara, if x equals 0, what... Now, this is kind of interesting. If x equals 0, what's the uh, factor? x equals 0, the factor is... <laughs> no? It's x. Because it's a bit like saying the factor is x minus 0. Yeah, which is the same thing as x. Yeah? x equals 0 means x minus 0 is a factor. Or in other words, x is a factor. So what's the next step? Uh, KJ, what do I need to do next? Uh, yeah, how? Uh, divide, by divide the cubic by x. Okay. So I want everybody now to do long division. But you don't really need to do long division here. You can... I don't know, just the quadratic, what do you get? You do your division, and what are you left with? Yeah, go on, don't be shy. Do you know, Lenny? Ah, I can't do this. You have six 15x squared plus 56x plus 49. True? Yeah. Yep. So, when you do your long division, if you want, you end up with this. Now, let's factorize this. I think this has um, just no factors. No, <laughs> just no factors. It has no factors. Let's check. It does. Wait, it does or does not have factors? Oh, it does have factors? Rats, I thought I picked one with no factors. Oh, it does have factors, but uh, the factors are 
the same. So let's factorize this. 4x plus 7 times 4x plus 7. They're the two factors. What was the first factor? No, that's the first root. What was the first factor? X. So, uh, second, what are the three factors? What was the first one? Oh, yeah, me get X was the second one? And what's the third one? Very good. So, KJ, what are the roots here? Uh, X is equal to zero. Yeah. X equals minus four and seven. Try that last one again. And where's the y-intercept? Zero. Zero. So I want you to try and draw that one for me. It has two roots and the y-intercept is zero. Let's see what you draw. Y-intercept is zero. Yeah. So, where does it cross the x-axis? It crosses it um, here at 0 yeah. and uh, at minus 7 over 4 which is around about here. Yeah. It is, which shape is it? Up, down, up or down, up, down? Which shape? Up, down, up. So it must go up to the first point, yeah. down to the second point, and then straight up. Because if it continued to go down, what would happen? Yeah. It would have three roots. We only need that two roots. So anyway, just try your best to draw it. I want to see if you drew it right. Ask the fellow. Uh, that's labor you're asking. Okay. Yeah. So now I don't need y axis, right? I need the y axis. Zero. Yeah. So I don't the need the y intercept is zero. Yeah. yeah. So it crosses the y axis at zero. Y axis at zero. I have only two points now. Yeah, this is why I'm saying it's a bit tricky. Yeah. So I want to see what you can try and draw with these two points. It goes up, down, up, still. So try and draw it. Down. And don't forget your y axis. The y axis isn't gone. Yes, yes, I don't think no, 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 it isn't gone. The y axis just disappeared, it stays there. Uh -huh. uh, where is your graph? Uh, not quite. Yes. Uh, now, the math is thinking. What no, 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 no. I'll say what you think. <laughs> what to do next? What do you think, right or wrong? I don't know. It's right. Yeah. So you see here, it only crosses twice. So it goes up, down, up, uh, but it can't continue down because then when it goes back up, it would have another group then. So yeah, it must be exactly like this. Yeah? Okay. Let me draw here for you. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it. Ah, of course, yeah. I'm very happy I did this question because it shows that you all did it wrong. Uh, because when you go up, down, up, you have two choices here. Everybody, I think everybody decided when it goes up to the first one, it continues up and then goes down to the second one. Whereas another possibility is it hits the first one and then goes down and back up to the last one. Okay. Is it really? You sure? That didn't just appear in the <laughs> Anyway, um, listen, the point I'm making with this last example is that when there's three roots, it's easy to do. 
There's no problems. Up, down, up. Are you listening? Yeah. yeah. When there's three roots, it's easy. Up, down, up. Okay? The problem is when there's two roots, you actually have a choice. You can go up, down, up, or in this one, it's still up, down, up, but the difference is the down happens at the first point. Whereas in your diagrams, uh, where's your one originally? Well, originally, what's wrong? Originally, you had the uh, down happening through the second point. So my question is this. How do you know which of the two shapes it is? How can you check before you draw which one you have? You put the one point. Yes? Uh, which point? Uh, 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 minus one. Correct, yes. Yeah. If you put in x equals minus 1 and you get a negative answer, then it means the down happens at the first point. If you've got a positive answer, then it's like what you had when you first drew it for me. So to summarize, two points, please be careful in the exam, you actually have two graph possibilities here. Mm -hmm. What did I just say, KJ? When? When do you have two graph possibilities? In the exam. You have two roots. And when you have three roots, do you have any possibilities? No, just only one choice. So no choice. Three roots, one choice. That's it, yeah. There's no, when you have three roots, it's impo the impossible to go wrong. Listen. When you have three roots, there's only one mistake you could make. What's that? Your uh, Well, no, the shape. Up, down, up, or down. Exactly. Up. Okay, but how can I check? Like, spaghetti or positive? Yes, there's three roots. Yes. I have three roots. Yes. How can I check positive or negative? No, you just look at the x cubed at the front. X cubed. The x cubed. In the question. Uh -huh. That's how you X is uh, If x cubed is positive, uh -huh. it's up, down, up. Uh -huh. If x cubed is negative, then it's not the big for a positive negative. If there's a plus or a minus in the front, and run the x. x cubed. X cubed. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah? So, like, for example, just before we go, if you look at d, I have y equals x cubed. Is that up, down, up, or down, up, down? Up, down, up. Okay. And then the next one has minus 5x cubed, so that's down, up, down. down, down. And I say if you have three roots, mm -hmm. it's impossible to do it wrong. Yeah, so so you go up, up, down, up, or down, up, down. Okay. The only time there's a problem is if there's two roots. Okay, so two roots. You need to check. Yeah. Okay. Now let me tell you which one to do. Uh, uh. Well, I'm going to pretend like this, you know, I never did the homework and this is a surprise. Mm -hmm. What? Wow. I would like you to do um, uh, the last trait, WXY. First, I want good graphs. The last time I asked you to do graphs, it looked like something the dog did. Okay? Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. So tomorrow, when I check your graphs, I want beautiful graphs. Okay. Okay? Well, I don't want to take out a plastic bag and then scoop up these graphs. So we don't have to... Huh? We don't have any how to grow it. No, no, just do it easily in your notebook. Okay. Yeah. Alright.